what makes it what makes it exciting to to get up in the in, in the morning? Well, I think it's to frankly to to live and to um, and to um, interact with the world. And if one is lucky enough and able to interact with the world in a way that's uh, a contribution and a contribution in the way um, uh, one interacts with others and how in others live, uh, that's uh, great motivation. And um, I think the, uh, the book and also the think tank in general um, is um, really uh, you know, a way to hopefully um, contribute uh, and, and better uh, the environment uh, that everybody uh, is involved with. What's exciting is that it changes, it's dynamic, it challenges, but these challenges are there to, um, let's say, uh, be confronted and hopefully uh, solved, and that's very exciting. Governance makes a difference as to whether society goes forward or backwards. Uh, let me say something about a local level and a global level. In California, I'm a Californian, I've lived there for, for decades now. 30 years ago in California was a golden state of opportunity. Everyone looked to California. Uh, we dreamed of building a society as magnificent as the landscape. What's happened in 30 years? Mountains of debt, D plus schools, spending more on prisons and education, infrastructure crumbling that emerging economies like China put to shame. We have to get our governance act together in the area, in the places we live, because as California has shown, you can go backwards. You don't have to go forward. You can't assume the future is going to give you the same as the past has. Governance is what matters. On the global level, same thing. Uh, on, and uh, one of the members of our global group uh, that shadows the G20 often says, are we in 1914 or 1950? 1914 meaning the years before World War I, when a series of uh, interest alliances, loose, uh, not having any consensus, not having any global order, were sparked by a small event and the world went into war. 1950 after World War II was an institution building period. The United Nations, uh, the Bretton Woods, IMF, all of these institutions which have created prosperity uh, and all the globalization that we've talked about, the good aspects of globalization, common glo global public goods were based on those institutions. We're now in another moment in which those institutions have run their course and we're back at a time like 1914 with a series of powers and alliances that a small event could erupt like a small island between China and Japan. Institution building that is governance is critical to having the same period of prosperity and stability ahead as we've had behind. Uh, so that nightmare and that promise is what motivates me when I uh, get up in the morning to work on these issues.